Started? Yeah. Okay, undo the bolt. Take this off, take this off. Line them up on the floor like this in order of, as they come out. Undo this bolt and hold on to this bolt. Okay, and line them up here in order as they come out so you know how to put them back in. Under this, that's the cone that holds the bearings. In order as they come out, this will just easily screw out like this. As you can see, it's got large thread on it. Put that in order as it came out. Slide this mechanism out. Slowly, gently. Pop that on the ground in order as it comes out. And then inside here, push the mechanism out and look on this side. You can see the shoes. And in order as it comes out, put it on the ground. So as you can see here, that's it, the shoe. That's the shoe. The reason it's squeaking is there is not enough grease on this side. And the way it goes back together is very important. And it's the only tricky part of the operation. Um, so right now we need to put grease on everything. We need to put grease on here and especially on the outside of the shoe. Put grease on the bearings there, over here. Put grease on that bearing and there will be a bearing on there as well. See there it is. We'll put grease on that and then put it back together. Job done. And uh, very important to put grease on the inside of the hub but mainly around this side put all the grease on the inside and then put it back together everything is good so I'll show you I'm using this one just a uh, Sturmi Archer internal gear grease but otherwise you can use uh, lithium grease or even better um, just mechanic gearbox grease from your local um, car mechanic um, and it's also important to keep uh, the wheel in the same orientation in which I mean do not put it back together like this keep it like keep it it's good to keep it where it is so you know that the parts go in the right side because the internal part of the hub is uh, uh, it's directional you know what I mean like one side's different to the other so right now I just pop globs of grease on the inside of the hub with a screwdriver you can see about this much grease. Yeah, that's it. Keep rotating. Keep rotating. So you've got lots of grease on the inside of the hub. It's swimming in grease. It's like grease is swimming in debt. This hub is swimming in grease. A bit of bicycle humor, maybe. Attempt it. Uh, so lots of grease there. And then uh, we're going to semi-assemble the um, clutch parts here. Uh, this is a good one to film. The two notches there go in those two holes there. So you can see those two notches go into the hole in there. And the shoes, the uh, foot of the shoes fit into this slot here. So as you can see, this is the shape of the shoe. There is a, uh, a foot, the foot goes into that slot. But first of all, we're going to put grease everywhere. So 
we just cake everything in grease as much as possible. The more the better, the more the merrier. Hello. Yeah, nice. Okay, and the shoe. As you see, the foot goes in the slot like that. It sits there. And because there's so much grease, it should pretty much the grease should just hold it in place, like so. And then put a whole bunch of grease around it and slide it back in. Grease to the max, slide it back in the hole, put some more grease on the bearings, you can see in here, oh. Everything's greased up. This should uh, just screw in a couple of turns. And got to put it back in here. Uh, yeah, it comes up from the. Uh... Yeah, it's spring loaded, so you can see it's spring loaded. And then this bearing, the the balls go in the cup, not the the wire in the cup. It's balls in the cup. The cup is there. The balls are there, not this way, this way. Balls in the cup. Put some grease on it. If you can. Uh, morning. 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 Hi. Get a bit of grease in there if you can. And then this is the cone. Screw that up, uh, hand tight. Uh, not too tight because then your wheel won't rotate, but not too loose because then the axle will be wobbly. So this part you do hand tight. So, uh, finger tight, however you want to call it. Finger tight, check it with a quick spin. Yeah, it spins nice, it's not wobbly, the axle's not wobbly. Finger tight, then put the bearing, uh, put the spaces back on. Spaces, this bolt you need to do quite tight, but you don't want to over tighten the cones and the bearings there. You want to get a thin spanner like that to hold the inside cone and then tighten this outside bolt to that cone. Not, not the whole system tightening, just this bit tightening. So I've got that to hold the inside cone and a spanner to tighten that bolt to, to it. Like so. Quick spin, check everything's good. Spins nice, axle's tight. And then you're finished. Job done. Stop? Yeah.